because deadlines work. You know when someone's going to hold you accountable, you are more likely to get it done. It's the whole concept of creating this group. Right? There's accountability. I would challenge you to say that if you came to these every month and you followed the wellness program and, the, and implement the information that we provide to you and you take action on it, that when we do this in October and November, you're in a healthier state than you are today. Does that make sense? That should happen. It should be measurable, right? It is good to have accountability. You say, oh, accountability makes me feel a little nervous. That's right. If you don't hold your children accountable, what happens? Right? We take these concepts and we say, that's for kids. No, it's not. It's for adults. I just did a, a YouTube video that's um, on our Mills Chiropractic Center YouTube channel, which is Mills Chiropractic Center. But it talks about who we hang around, right? And I said, you know, when I was growing up, there was places that I wanted to go and my parents didn't let me. There was people that I wanted to hang around with and they advised me not to hang around those people. Well, why was that? Because they knew if I went to that situation, there was a good chance I was going to be peer pressured to do things that weren't good for me, weren't healthy, maybe were illegal. And we think, well, yeah, that's for kids. You have to do that with kids. Really? That's not an adult concept? <laughs> Do you have a group of people that encourage you and help empower you to a better and more productive life or not? Right? Ah, oh, who do you think you are? You've tried to do this a thousand times. I've watched him try to lose weight 50 times. I've watched him try to get healthy 50 times. You know what, buddy? Come back to me in six months. We'll see where you're at. I'll be back in the same spot. Is that your buddy? Because if that's your buddy... I'm not sure if he's really your buddy. Right? Isn't that what you tell your kids? If some guy was trying to get your kid to quit a sport or go do something or get involved with it, you'd be saying, if he was really your friend, do you think he'd talk to you? That's what you tell them. Do you tell yourself that? You know, traditional health care says, why, why do you got to have a seminar on, on, on topics like this? It's kind of out there, Dr. Mills. You know, just, you know, check their blood pressure, do their blood work, put them on drugs. I mean, keep them content until they die. Is that really what this existence is about? It's not about that for me. If it's about that for you, this won't make any difference in your life. Let me tell you, this is the future of healthcare. This is it. The future of healthcare is not a miracle drug. I'm here to tell you. Listen, that panacea is over. It crested. That wave crested. We put people on more drugs in the last 20 years than ever in human history. And our life expectancy in America went from 11th to 42nd. We spend 78 cents of every dollar on a chronic preventable disease. Why? We know that once someone gets diagnosed and start getting treating for heart disease, diabetes, high cholesterol, it doesn't matter, right? They're never going to do anything but spend more money on health care and they're still going to die prematurely. We know that. It's a statistical fact. You want more of that? The future of health care is going to be to be someone's coach to be someone's leader, to be someone's mentor. That's the future of healthcare. You want to reduce healthcare costs by 78%? Then get people adjusted and teach them the right lifestyle and we're on our way. You know, you know what traditional healthcare says? They won't change, Dr. Mills. They won't change. You're wasting your time. You just got to give them pills and try to keep them alive and keep them pain-free. They won't change. You know what? I think more of you than that. 
I think you have a brain, and I think you can use it. <coughs> I think you have a brain, and I think you can use it. I think you can change your life. I think you can make... I believe in you. That's what I'm saying. Tonight I'm saying I believe in you. That in the right environment, with the right people, with the right knowledge and the right tools, you'll make good decisions. Most of the time. And the good news is that's all you got to do, is most of the time. You don't have to do it right every time. That's what makes, that this body is so amazing and unbelievable. We talk about the innate intelligence of the body, right? It, it, it adapts to, people dump Pepsi and donuts and Snickers and processed food into it all day long, every day. I have people that haven't drank a glass of water in a year, two years. And the thing's still alive. <laughs> Think about that. It's still alive. It's not dead. I did an experiment a couple years ago. Some of you have been here for a long time. Right? I took a plant. I fed one Pepsi and I fed one water. What do you think happened? When you get put things in things that aren't designed to be there, they get sick. The one that I fed Pepsi to, it was so much sugar that bugs and insects were crawling all over it. And it right? Guess what's happening in all these? I don't understand. I, I, I guess you get one sickness after another. I have all these infections. Yeah. Dump 400 grams of sugar in your body and feed bacteria like crazy and see what happens. Right? Listen, we can do this. We can do this. You can do it. I believe in you. If they won't believe in you, and they won't teach you and educate you and inspire you, and they just want to palliatively drug you for the rest of your life, I'm saying, I think more of you than that. People that will take action. Choose people that will build you up, not break you down. I'm here to tell you that to be healthy, you have to let go of some things. There's people that I don't hang around with every day, that I used to hang around with every day in my life. I don't love them any less. They just weren't taking me in a direct direction that was productive and constructive. They're not evil people. They're good people. They just weren't encouraging me. They weren't supporting me. They weren't empowering me to use this short little life I have to its maximum capacity. You might have to have the courage to do the same thing. You say, Dr. Mills, I don't have anybody in my life that will encourage me and support me in making positive, healthy decisions. Yes, you do. Right here. Us. There's a whole room for them right now. I promise you, I'm not going to encourage you to do the wrong thing according to your health. I won't. And I'm not going to judge you, and I'm not going to beat you up when you stumble and you make a mistake. Because you know what? I stumble and I make mistakes. 